You know, there's just some days I think I get up way too early for photography. Good morning, everybody. From the east side of the island of Oahu, we are going to film a sunrise. I can be with you wherever. Home or in a foreign land. I can stay like this forever. I got the world in my hand. Yep, it's early, but you know what? You can't get those great shots if you stay in bed. Now I chose this spot out here because there's lots of rocks leading out here into the ocean so it gives me some type of a foreground element. A little hard to focus right now in the dark but we do have some waves crashing in. I'm hoping they're going to just brilliantly light up when the sun comes through. Unfortunately there's a big cloud right on the horizon that may prevent that sun from popping up right on the horizon. So don't know how that's going to look, but it also gives us the opportunity for some really colorful clouds in the sky. So we'll see. I'm actually going to head down a little bit, down to the sand, and uh, get a little closer to the ocean in a few minutes. Okay, so some of you may think that I'm a little crazy for getting up at 5 a.m. on my day off and driving out onto a dark beach with a lot of expensive camera gear. Okay, so I am. This is about more than photography. It is not about capturing the moment, it is about enjoying the moment. Photography gets me out of bed and out to places and experiences that most visitors to Hawaii will never experience. Something else I need to watch out for is all the salt spray. So, got to keep cleaning the lens. So just a little bit of precaution, I put the backpack, uh, my backpack up on a rock to kind of protect in case water comes through here. I don't mind if my flip flops or the bottom of the tripod gets a little salt water on it, but um, I do, do mind if the backpack does. Now if we can just get some color in the sky, it'd be amazing. Okay, so maybe that was a little over the top. Anyhow, something that I wanted to try to capture is the sunlight passing through the waves. To do this, you need very low angle sunlight for this effect. I tried to do this manually but could never get the shutter of my camera off fast enough, so I set the camera to continuously shoot and I picked the best of the bunch. 
For this one, I like the splash, but I just could not get the sun right. It's too bright. Let's be honest, I really don't think that I'll be able to get this one accepted at a stock photography agency. So I tried a different angle to see if I could get that awesome blue light passing through the tops of the waves before they crash, but not much luck here. I ended up using a little split toning magic in Lightroom to add some more color to the scene and I think I nailed it. All in all, I think I got a few winners out of this very early AM photo shoot. Truth be told, the best part of this morning is I got to treat mom to a sunrise over the Pacific Ocean. Afterwards, we just sat and enjoyed the morning before heading off to a pancake house. Well, I think that's it for this morning's photo shoot. I am desperately in need of breakfast right now. But when we get back to the hotel, I'm gonna be wiping down all this equipment, the camera, the drone, everything, because there is a lot of salt spray out here. Now my camera is about seven or eight years old and it's working great because I take care of my equipment. So we're gonna head on back, get breakfast, clean things up. If you guys like these types of videos, if you like to travel, if you like photography, click that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and remember, never stop exploring. See you all next time.